Still exciting, just as much as it was. We're packed up and we're ready to leave. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Got the bedroom slide closed and we were actually here for four days four days four days we had planned here be to be here three but there was that storm that we showed you and then there was um winds winds yesterday and it's a yeah. little windy today but it's not too bad so we're gonna yeah go ahead and we need to move on we're 1400 miles from buffalo and we hope to get it to about a thousand by the end of the day well, hopefully that's a thousand doesn't sound too bad actually. Little, little friend. Cats are in, ready for travel. While we're leaving Texola, Oklahoma, Texola, it's on the border of Texas, and we have a 350-ish mile trip. So I was going to start out with the driving. For those of you who are new here, I'm Sharon, and this is Sal, and we have three cats, Alexander, Seymour, and Henry, and we've been full-time in RV for almost over six years now. And we've made a lot of trips back and forth from the western New York area to the southwest, Quartzsite, Arizona, and those parts. Right, and it's still exciting just as much as it was the first year. It's a little different, but it's still exciting. Yep, it still is. So we're on our journey heading to the northeast, and we're glad that you could join us. We are. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And if you're new here, remember to subscribe and check out our channel. We have some interesting videos. We have videos which outlined our process from, from the time we decided to try full-time RV living and the whole process of buying our truck and our RV and everything in between. So clearing out the clutter from our house, all the emotions we went through. Mm. We have a lot of good videos there and I can hook up a playlist for you so you can watch that. Unique content that we have. Yeah, it is, I think it is. All right, well, we're headed on our trip now, so we'll see you at our next destination or on the way. Watch us on the way. Okay, guys, we'll see you there, or we'll see you on the way. <laughs> so, I wanted to ask you, what was your favorite thing about Texala this time around? My favorite thing about Texala? Yeah. The French fries <laughs> oh, that you made. Yeah, I made French fries in the air fryer yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing was that we were safe in the storms. There were all these storms taking place and my my thing was that we were safe. I was so glad that we were safe and then we saw a rainbow. Oh, yeah, that's right. I almost had forgotten about that rainbow. That too, definitely that too. different way we're going to take you through the ghost town so you can actually see the ghost town let's go see the ghost town
we're not in the desert anymore. We switched. I'm driving now. For a little bit. For a little we'll, bit. We'll switch again in a little while. First we have to pass Oklahoma City, and then we have to pass Tulsa. And then if we can find a place to switch after Tulsa, I guess we're going to switch back. We're in El Reno right now. We just stopped to get some fuel. Sweeping down the plane. We're in Oklahoma. In between Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Yourself? Huh? Oh, man. Come on, let's get you inside. Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, that was a long trip. Yeah, about 350 miles. And you know what? This is like, it's it's nice when we get to this point because we only have about a thousand miles to get back to Buffalo out of mm. a 23 or 2400 mile trip. So yeah. it's kind of nice because we feel like there's not that far to go. Yeah, it is nice. It feels good. Yeah. So we have, we want to be back in nine more days i think so the pace has been going pretty well i think so yeah and you saw we went for a buffet yeah, it was pretty good actually yeah yeah i enjoyed it yep so 
I guess we're gonna get some sleep now. Oh, I'm ready for that, actually.